Yesterday we got back in shape after baby. Today we're getting fashionable, getting the babies a little more fashionable as a matter of fact. Pink or Blue is a brand new business to the city of Calgary. Been around for about six weeks, I understand. Start with you, Stephanie. What is Pink or Blue? Well, it's two different colors. Oh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I knew she was going to say that, you wisecracker. <laughs> what is Pink or Blue? What, what kind of a store is it? Pink or Blue is actually a baby lifestyle boutique. And what we do is we focus on clothing and uh, accessories and furniture that really reflects the design and style choices of parents today. And was there anything like this in Calgary before? Not that we know of. <laughs> so yeah, Calgary had a need for it. We wanted to get into some different fashions. And we're going to start, I believe, with Libby here, right? With Libby, yeah. So we've got Libby Tano here. She's eight months, and she is wearing a Lucky Wang kimono onesie <laughs> with some baby legs and these little gold disco booties made by Chickpea Kid. Those baby legs are incredible. I've got some of those for my daughter. And the, tell us about the use of, of baby legs, particularly in Calgary. Oh, they're fantastic. Uh, baby legs are so versatile. You can use them both on their legs and on their arms to keep their arms warm in the wintertime. So with our weather here changing up and down, up and down, it's great because you don't actually have to take off layers. It's easy enough to just pull on and off. Yeah. And they're just like tubes, right? They're not yep. like a sock. That's and right. especially with babies this age, you mostly have them in onesies because it's more convenient to change them and stuff. And so this way, they don't interfere with that for it, mom. It does, let's be honest, it does have an 80s flair, though, to them. Right? <laughs> yeah, it, it does, looks like definitely. like everybody's getting physical uh, when it comes to the babies, like Olivia Newton-John. From Libby, we've got another model. And by the way, thank you, Libby. Hi. No reaction whatsoever. <laughs> Who's next up? We've got Sean Angus and his mom, Adrian. Mm -hmm. Got a quick uh, shot of Sean Angus before sporting Sean the chapeau. Angus. Sean Angus is wearing um, a pub hat, which we carry in a number of colors and prints. And <laughs> oh he's got a little merino wool sweater on by Albert and black pub pants, also by Knuckleheads. And the shoes, they look like almost a, a different take on the Robies or the Robbies. They look very comfortable. They are. They're, uh, they're called Petty Ped, and they've actually won um, awards from the American Podiatrist Society for Healthy Development of Baby's Feet, and they're very stylish. Anytime you guys have clippings as well, because you pride yourself on having these baby clothes, the baby couture that the stars have. So anytime we have examples, just holler, and we'll, we'll show those to match, because these are the clothes that are hot in Hollywood, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. John Angus giving us a smile. Model number two, that's going to be some tough competition. Who's next on the runway? So next we have Gabor Lasso with his mom, Nancy. It's got a European flair to it. Yes, he does. So Gabor is wearing the News uh, Boy hat, which uh, is from Knuckleheads also, and the News Boy pant. He's wearing the Ranger jacket, and then underneath he's wearing a pretty cool shirt for little boys called the Cassidy shirt. That's and the it's something a little different because... There he goes. Yeah. He's, he's too sexy for Work that it, coat. Gabor. Too sexy for that coat. But we love this shirt. It's called the Cassidy shirt. And um, it's a little bit more like a dress shirt. And it's, you know, for little boys mostly out there, you see a lot of cotton tees. But this is a really great dress shirt that has um, all the little details on it. And his newsboy hat, he's ready to start yelling extra, extra read all about it every time now. <laughs> and again, some, uh, some very sensible, but they look like they're comfortable shoes, eh? That's right. Look at him. He's just doing the pose down. Yeah. We can't be finished with him because he's the star of the show. Yay, Gabor! Yippee! Oh, I'm distracting our models here. This is very cool because, you know what? The onesies you mentioned, but you want to graduate from the onesies. You're going to be, especially during the holiday season, visiting family and friends. And this is something that he's going to be comfortable in, but at the same time can dress it up a bit. We've got to get his walk of all. Oh, he was strutting. That's another tough act to follow. Hats off. Hats off to you, Gabor. Who's next up? So next up, we have Jade. So we move from the babies to the toddlers. Yeah, yeah. so we carry all the way up to five years old right now, but we'll be expanding through to 12 years old by the springtime. And we've got a, a good shot here, as a matter of fact, of, of what Jade's wearing yeah, in comparison this to Hollywood. This is um, a line called Sheen Kids, and it's actually a clothing line that Charlie Sheen started for his two daughters in Hollywood. We'll get a shot of the, the picture here because so, this is, again, a, a great example of what Jade's wearing there. Jade, give us a spin as well. Jade, can we see the back? Can we see the back? Can I turn around? They do a lot of embellishing and a lot of detail. Can you see, can you see on the back there, there, Jade? Yeah, absolutely. It looks like we've got some kind of a flower. Can I spin around for us? Jade? Spin around there, Jade, for us. There we go. 
So it's all embroidered and embellished. And again, I'm getting back to this. It's a, it's a broken record, but the, if the kids aren't comfortable, they're not and this is work. this is a little bit where baby couture comes from. Um, it, it started in Hollywood with Charlie Sheen, and this is what the the stars' kids wear. Let's talk. We got to talk. It's inevitable, and I know we're going to be talking with you a little later in the program as well. With more fashions, but the price point in something like this outfit here. You pay for it. You do. We're definitely, we consider ourselves to be moderate to upscale in price points, but you're also paying for the quality. So Sheen Kids is actually manufactured in the USA with all materials originating from the USA as well. So you're paying for the quality um, of the clothing as well. If you can't get it anywhere else, you can put that, uh, put that premium on it. Yeah. Who's next up? So lastly, we have Noah Cano. Noah Cano, oh. come on down. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think he's a little camera shy. Love the retro jacket. Oh, no. That's very cool. Yeah. This jacket is called the Japanese Speed Jacket. And nice. uh, it's total kind of like 80s retro. I think I had a jacket like I that. I had that in great sense. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, he's also wearing a pair of jeans from the Knuckleheads line. It's called the Greaser Jean, and it features the uh, extra roll the cuff, cuff on the bottom and also the big pockets in the back. You got the funky shoes as well going yeah. on. Yeah. You know what I like about the jacket too is uh, you know you got the black and it's gonna be, it's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get dirty. That's and so you right. might as well have the black jacket for the boys. Basically, the philosophy of the store is that children are an extension of ourselves, and so we spend so much time trying to be unique in our day to day that why wouldn't that extend to our children as well? Got that covered. And I just want to make note of the hat. It's called the Revolutionary Hat it's from the Apple Man line. Um, the other hats that you've seen today are the pub hats from the Knucklehead line, but hats are really big this season. Hats so, are big. If you yeah. can get the kids to wear them, good on you. More with Pink or Blue coming up a little later on Breakfast Television. More Baby Couture.